question. If the Earth is rotating at about a thousand miles per hour all the time, 24 hours a day, why don't we feel it? So yes, believe it or not, mind-blowing fact number one is this planet is rotating at the equator about a thousand miles an hour. You can calculate that very easily by knowing the radius of the Earth and that we rotate once in about 24 hours. So at the equator, if you look at the tangential speed, it's a little bit more than a thousand miles per hour. But as you get closer to the poles, the tangential speed is going less and less, eventually getting to zero as you're standing on the North Pole, because at the North Pole, you're just kind of rotating in a circle uh, along the axis, and you're not really traveling that broad distance around the planet. So the tangential speed is about a thousand miles an hour at the equator, getting slowly to zero. But even if you're living in North America, South America, no matter where you're living, you uh, would think that you would feel that speed. Why don't we feel it? Now, here's the reason in a nutshell. Imagine that you're in a train and the train is moving at a thousand miles an hour, but the tracks are perfectly frictionless. There's no bumps. Uh, in fact, you might even think about being in a spacecraft in space. There's no bumps. You can't see out the window uh, and you're traveling at a thousand miles an hour. Now, the train is moving at a thousand miles an hour but you are inside of the train also moving at exactly the same speed of a thousand miles per hour. The air inside of the train is moving at a thousand miles an hour. So from your frame of reference inside the train, then everything is in its place. And since the law of inertia says bodies in motion tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force, you're not going to be able to feel your motion. In short, we, we, what our bodies detect is acceleration, changes in velocity. But if I'm moving at a steady thousand miles an hour and the train is moving at a steady thousand miles an hour, I'm not going to notice because we're both moving at a constant velocity. Now this is what's happening on the earth, except we're rotating. Now the ground isn't actually flat, it's curved, but it's so large that locally the ground looks flat to us. And the ground is moving at about a thousand miles an hour at the equator. And your body is moving at the same speed. The air is more or less, other than the wind, moving at the same speed. So just like the train, you're not going to notice because you don't feel any tangential acceleration. Now, if you've ever flung anything in a circle, like, like a little object, you know that you're pulling toward the center to keep it in circular motion. And on gravity, that center-seeking force, centripetal force, is given by gravity. That's what's causing that motion to be able to continue in a circular path. Now, there is a tendency for you to be flying out from the surface of the planet in a straight line due to inertia. That's a fictitious force called the centrifugal force. But basically, we don't notice any of that because the planet is so big and gravity is strong enough. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.